In this video, I'm going to go through how to install GreenShot, which is a screenshot tool that you can use on a PC, and how we're going to use it in our class. So first, you're going to need to go to Google or whatever browser you're using and type in the word GreenShot, and we're going to go to the GreenShot website, which is getgreenshot.org. We're going to go to downloads right here in the middle of the page and we're going to download the most stable release now greenshot is a pretty small program so it installs pretty quickly so click on it and we're going to run that item right there and we're going to install that and we would like to install that in english and we'll run the wizard i accept the terms so go through the terms and agreements if you need to and we're going to install that but it is a open source program and we're going to choose some of the things that we might want now there are some cool plugins they have a box plugin and a dropbox plugin if you use those services they might be kind of interesting to you um, i am going to have uh, my greenshot um, files saved to my dropbox uh, I'm going to install GreenShot into a folder called GreenShot, and I'm going to have GreenShot start when Windows starts, and I'm going to install that. Now, GreenShot takes a minute to, to start up and to optimize, and what you're going to realize is down here uh, next to your time, there's going to be an icon that shows up, which will be this green G uh, in the background. So it takes a minute. Uh, once it's adding all those files um, and we'll finish that up I'm just going to click on the G here and finish that up and we should start to see that icon show up down here at the bottom yep so you see that icon is, has started up now the cool thing about GreenShot is you can set it up to use certain hotkeys so that you're able to just take simple screenshots and you're able to save those in destinations that you choose. Uh, if you hit the, if you want to just capture a region, you can print the, press the print screen button and it will capture just a uh, just a region. So it'll give you crosshairs where you'll get to pick the region that you want to uh, take the screenshot of. If you want to take a capture a window, it's alt print screen and the full screen would be control print screen and those would be the three main ones that I would do. Uh, looking at our output, um, you can choose your image format. I'm usually good with a PNG, uh, but if you'd like to choose a G JPEG, you can, and you can choose the quality. Uh, destination is nice because you can actually set it up to save all of your, your things to the clipboard, or you can choose to have it saved directly to a certain file. So you have to uncheck this box and have them saved to a certain file. And once you pick that output uh, where you want that to go, and this one right now is saving to the desktop, where I choose for mine to go would be I would search through this library here and I would find my Google Drive. I'd set up a folder in there and uh, save all of my screenshots there so that I can move them from there later. Uh, you'll be using this program, and the reason why I'm going to have you download this program is because as we go through the course, you're going to be taking some screenshots of work that you're doing throughout the course, uh, some of added things, and you're going to be uploading those to me as files in the Dropbox, in GradPoint, or in your other vendors. Um, also, you are going to be building a web page as part of your science curriculum. Uh, to show off your projects that you've done throughout the course of the semester and you might want to take some screenshots of uh, different things that you've created there. So uh, GreenShot is going to be a good use for you if you are using a PC. I'm also going to create another video on how to take screenshots with a Mac if you need to do it that way. I uh, hope this uh, helps and if you have any questions please feel free to email me and I will talk to you later.